five cities coming together for one amazing party. Nokia, New Year's Eve. Hey, I'm Liz. And I'm Tash from, from Atomic, Atomic Kitten. Kitten. It's so exciting for Atomic Kitten to be a part of this event. I mean, apart from being a part of a huge lineup, of like totally successful lineup, but also us re reforming just for this. It was really exciting to get the call and then to say, I don't know, should we do it? Because we've never actually performed in Hong Kong and we always had people asking us to do it, but we just never had the time to be there. And now it, that we've taken a huge break and now we're going to come back to do that, it's really, it's nice for us to do that. So excited about performing in Hong Kong. I mean, apart from fabulous weather over Christmas. Um, Is it going to be that hot? It's going to be really hot, that's what Jen's Bring a bikini. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's just going to be a fabulous show to do. I mean, um, we haven't been to China for a long, long time, since the very beginning of Atomic Kitten. And we've never, ever performed in Hong Kong. And, um, you know, people have asked us to a thousand and one times, but we've just never been able to. So I think, you know, Atomic Kitten reforming for this is going to be fabulous for all the Chinese fans as well. On New Year's Eve at midnight, I'm normally phoning or texting my mum to wish her and my dad Happy New Year's and just to hear my mum a bit drunk down the phone. <laughs> Usually if I'm not with my mum, the person I'll call on New Year's Eve will be here, but um, she's going to come out to Hong Kong with us, which will be fabulous. So this year, it'll be my very new love, Lee, so that'll be really exciting. The other celebrities that I would personally be calling on New Year's Eve would be Jenny and Liz because we're always with our own families so it's nice just to pick up the phone and wish them a happy new year. If two people wouldn't mind me doing this, if Nicole Kidman wouldn't mind me doing this and if my boyfriend wouldn't mind me doing this, I wouldn't mind texting Keith Urban on, you know, on the old phone. Happy New Year, Keith. I will always love you even though you're married. <laughs> I would be really happy if George Clooney phoned me up on New Year's Eve and wished me a happy new year. That would be nice. <laughs> I think what they should do is for the great British public, you, could be, you should be able to get a text off the Queen saying happy new year. I'd like that. Well, actually, personally, I pr probably prefer it from Prince William, but hey, the Queen will do. So yeah, I think Nokia should do that. Text from the Queen from New Year's Eve. I've got two favourite New Year's Eves, actually. My first one was my friend had a, um, a party in Belfast for us all, and we just, in this big club, and we just had a huge big party, and then we did some crazy things on New Year's Day and everything, it was a fabulous weekend. And then my other favourite was when I was in um, the Caribbean for New Year's Eve, and that was, and we were on the beach drinking warm champagne, but it was the best drinking champagne, go, saying new, happy new year and with loads of new friends and it was just absolutely amazing and then all playing limbo and it was fabulous. My favourite New Year's Eve ever was when my youngest son Harry was born. <laughs> Last New Year's Eve I was with lots of my family and my friends and we all went out to a local club club in Liverpool where we welcomed in the new year and then we just went back to a friend's house and had a little house party. It was quite nice. Last New Year's Eve I spent in my house in Liverpool having a huge big party and um, it, was, it was very messy and we had to buy a new carpet after that. One of my favourite New Year's Eve party songs has to be Prince. Cause tonight we're gonna party like it's 1999 like Which was the year Tom and Kitten got together That's very <laughs> correct <laughs> Probably my favourite New Year's Eve party song This might sound really vain But it's gonna be Atomic Kitten and Atomic Kitten won't be with you Cause everyone always puts it on in, when I'm at a party Because it's friends and they go Look! It's Liz singing! So that's funny, well for them and then, but I always get into it and I always end up at the end of the song going, yay, singing along to it. Obviously, this means I'm a bit drunk. <laughs> Atomic Kitten hasn't been together for nearly three years now, but, you know, we've done the odd occasional gigs and 
when we get on stage, it's like we perform with each other every week. We know where we're supposed to stand on every song. You know, there's certain songs that we sing where we'll have like a little dance move and we'll always look at each other and we have such a good chemistry when we're on stage. And that's why we're looking forward to being in Hong Kong because it's going to be one of the biggest gigs we've done. And just welcoming in the new year in such an amazing venue with so many people just there wanting to have lots of fun would just be amazing. I think the main thing about when, when we were at the height of Atomic Kitten as well was our, wasn't really a tradition, but it was something that we just did. We made sure because we'd always spend every day of the year together and they, they, that would have been our, like, apart from Christmas Day, our only time off. We would usually try and make sure we text each other and say, you know, or ring each other and say just Happy New Year and love you lots and things like that. Hey, I'm Liz. And I'm Tash. From, from Atomic, Atomic Kitten. Kitten. Watch us on the Nokia New Year's Eve. Have a happy new year.